Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Banggood tool review. This tool review is all about a set of metric micrometers, uh, ranging from 0 to 200mm, a box set with test pieces. Before we start, I want to make one or two things perfectly clear. The first thing is, Banggood don't make micrometers, Banggood import them from China. The second thing is, they're sent to me completely free of charge to do with whatever I want. The third thing is, there'll be a link in the description box. If you click on the link and buy a set of micrometers, I do get a small commission. I can't retail on it, but it'll certainly help us to make better videos and help run my shop. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get the micrometers out of the box and see exactly what we've got. This is the way the box turned up. It's definitely been opened. Um, there's a customs charge label on there as well. I've had a lot of items from Banggood, and it's the first time I've been caught with a customs charge. You just pay it. Right, so we'll have a look and see exactly what we've got in here. Like you see, it's, the box has been open. Just somebody has had a look in there. Banggood doing sort of waste much money on packaging. Right, first thing is I can see the box is broken. The lid's broken off the box. It's not what you'd call a, a cabinet maker's box, but it, it's more the micrometers in the box we're interested in. Right, so we've got some test pieces. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six micrometers. We look alright, feel alright. Yeah, the, the box has obviously been dropped, it's uh, the box has been broken. Not from a great height by the look of it. Really, we'll just discard that. I'll get where I saw it. I think. Right, what we're interested in is a micrometer. We'll pick one at random. This one. Feels alright, nice and smooth. Definitely got tips on there. It just it does say they've got hard tips on. Ratchet works. I mean for the sort of money you're paying, you're not gonna get material micrometers. Certainly feels smooth enough. I'll bring the camera in, we'll have a look inside it. Looks alright, nice. The threads are good. It's what can you say about it? It's a micrometer. No tight spots on nothing like that. And like I say the the ratchet feels quite nice. And I've put the micrometer in this little vice because I haven't got a micrometer stand. We'll do this one first. So we've got a 50mm standard. Use the ratchet and it's reading five hundredths too big, so it's left to adjust it. Simple enough to do. That's better. If you take the scrub out, bring that round until the try the other way, John. Until the barrel lines up with a zero, which is there. Now we'll try the 25mm one. That should read zero when it's closed. Which it is, it's absolutely spot on the line that. We'll try the 25mm test piece in it, the 25mm standard.
you can actually pay more for a set of standards and I paid for then you can pay for these micrometers. Right, and that's bang on there. So it's zero when the 25mm is absolutely spot on, so there's nothing the matter with it. It's it's reading accurate. This is the 100 mm micrometer, we'll try that one. That one's reading five hundredths too big as well, so they're all one setting up. Or at least you have got some standards to set them up to. That's them there, they are exactly what they are. They're a set of cheap Chinese micrometers. As I say, if they're taken apart, cleaned, reassembled, adjusted with the right micrometer oil on, they'll be acceptable, they could well be used. They've definitely got tips on there, I'll bring it. See the little line where the tip's been probably brazed on. Right, we've had a good look at them, we've had a play with them. Uh, the question is, would I buy those micrometers? I think a good value for money. But they're not a set that I would buy. I would probably spend a bit more money and get a better set. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.